But a case study that we, we've been working on for two weeks now, it started from the theme health in the city. Before there were disease epidemics, uh, uh, cholera and so forth. Uh, today, I mean, the, the, the city is prosperous, uh, so you get these prosperous diseases like uh, obesity and so forth. We took as a starting point, how could you bring the topic of disease prevention and health promotion to a broader audience than to only the academia and the government and the pharmaceutical companies that are currently discussing this issue. We basically tried to do that through the format of our final presentation, which was now a, a lifestyle magazine or a glossy magazine. Trying to uh, fit in 15 articles about the different problems we were um, discussing and developing over the course of the last two weeks. Trying to explain it in a way that uh, everyone would be interested and understand it. Well, each of us chose a topic which he or she was most interested in and then in smaller groups we were then working on, uh, well, on what we chose for. In terms of information we tried to prepare as good as possible and then they were just really good at combining that into an interesting narrative with a good conclusion. At the very end of course there was production stress but there was more, that was not a bad type of stress. Even though our case study is staging health in a city, we actually led a pretty unhealthy life <laughs> over the course of the last two weeks because we had so much to do that we didn't have time for lunch, we didn't have time for dinner, we didn't leave the building for 12 and a half hours. What has been presented now after two weeks of work by the participants is a, was a general glossy, but actually our next idea would be to make a children's version because on the one hand that's a very important target group to, to start uh, this awareness of health conditions. On the other hand it's also that most of the topics that we are were now included in the magazine are actually also very interesting for children.